Previously, we learned how to work with pads and add slope to pads. Now we're going to learn an additional modifier that is related to pads, and that is pads with retaining edge. And so basically what that is, is it allows you to set a pad at any elevation and then essentially cut straight down or cut straight up from the terrain model. And so to demonstrate what that will look like, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple planters to the front of the house. So first I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw my planters. So I'm going to grab the wall tool and then I'm going to come over here to the wall tool preferences. And right here I have this insertion option. So I'm going to want to make sure that I'm set up correctly. I know that the bottom offset for my wall is going to be three feet because that's the elevation there near the house. And then for the wall height, I want to do two feet. So I'll go ahead and click that. Then up here in the mode bar, I'm always drawing in the left control mode. And then over here, I'm using the rectangular mode. So I'm just going to come to the upper right hand corner right here, get my smart point and then drag to the other corner. And for this, I'm going to hit the tab key a couple times because I know I want this to be a negative four feet. So that's a four foot deep bed right there. And then I will just do the same thing over here on the other side. And I will use that smart point to get my four foot deep bed. So quickly, let's come and take a look at the site model and just make sure that everything is sitting correctly on there. So my beds look good. So let's come in here and in top plan view, I want to add a plant style. So I'm going to go ahead and add this Lakotha way. So I'll just click that and add that over here. And then let's look at this in 3D. So if I look at this in 3D, that plant is sitting on top of the site model right there. So plants that are added in top plan view, they should sit on top of the site model. Let's go back to top plan view. And I'm going to go ahead and add a hedgerow of Lakotha Way here in this planter box. And let's look at what that looks like. Just adjust that so it's centered. And now let's look at it up in 3D. And so my Lakotha way is actually at the bottom of my retaining beds instead of the top. And to fix that, we are going to use the pad with retaining edge to elevate that pad to the top of those planters so that our plants sit correctly. So I'm going to come in here and go into top plan view. And then these can be drawn using either the site modifier tool or by using the create objects from shape command. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and use the site modifier tool. And in the mode bar, this fourth option, the pad with retaining edge mode, that's the mode that we want to use. And then I want to come over here to the tool preferences and take a look at the settings. So for the elevation, I want that to be set at three feet. And the elevation that I'm setting right here before I start drawing, this is going to be the elevation of the retaining edge. And so I want the pad to be about two feet taller than the elevation right there at the door, which is already three feet. So the bottom of those planters is going to be a three foot elevation. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I'm ready to draw. One thing that I forgot to do before I started drawing was to change my active design layer. So I'm going to come up here in the object info palette, and I'm just going to reassign that to site modifiers. And then I will go ahead and make that the, the active design layer right there. So let's look at this in 3D. So we know that the first elevation that we set before we start drawing with our site modifier tool, that is going to be the retaining edge elevation. But now I can come over here and with that site modifier selected, come over to the object info palette and I can change the elevation over here because currently my pad elevation and my retaining edge elevation are set to the same height. So if I come over here and I'm going to go five feet minus one inch, that has now set my pad elevation. I'm going to grab the selection tool, click on the site model and update the site model. And so now you can see, I have terrain inside of my planter bed. Now let's go back into top plan view. I'm going to grab my plant tool again, and I'm going to add another row of hedges over here. 
Yeah, we'll go with four, and I will just move them over a little bit. So let's look at this in 3D now. And so you can see that the plants are now sitting at the top of my planter rather than at the bottom of my planter because I added that slight modifier. So let's do a little bit of reorganizing. So my plants over here, and I'll go ahead and grab all of them at once. My plants should be on the planting design layer. And you, of course, are welcome to organize your file any way that you would like. But for me, this would be on the planting design layer. And then if I was good about it, all of these retaining walls should be on the fences and walls layer. So let's go ahead. I'm going to turn off the fences and wall design layer so that you can see what it looks like underneath. And you can see that the pad is right up here at the top. And then the retaining edge, it just cuts straight down to the bottom of that retaining edge, which is there at the bottom. I will add my fences and walls back in to the file. And then I'm going to come to the back and we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to add a lap pool back here because it's the same pad with retaining edge site modifier that I'm going to use. I'm just going to use it a little differently. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool because in this example, I'm going to go ahead and use the create objects by shape command, but you could use the um, site modifier tool to draw this as well. Both will work. So I'm just going to draw the shape that's going to be my lap pool. Then I'm going to come over here to the landmark menu and go create objects from shape. Then up here for object type, I'm going to go site modifier. Yes, I would like to delete that source shape. And then I would like to see the property dialog box too. So click OK. And then for configuration, we have pad with retaining edge. That's great. And then for the elevation, because remember the elevation is going to be the retaining edge. This is a, an underground pool. So that retaining edge should be at three feet in elevation because that is the height of the site model in the backyard. So three feet is good. Slope def definition is none and apply to as proposed. So great, I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to add that modifier to my file. And you can see in 3D that both the pad and as well as the retaining edge, they are at the same elevation. And so now if I want to change the elevation for the pad, I'm going to come over here to the object info palette with that site modifier selected. And here in the elevation field, I'm going to do negative five feet. And then I will hit tab and you can see that there is a pad there that is inside of the site model. So I'm going to come get the selection tool. I'm going to click on my site model and I'm going to update. And let's change our view a little bit. So you can see that I now have an in-ground pool in my backyard. Just as a quick recap. When we are using the pad with retaining edge modifier, elevation that we set before we start drawing that modifier or start adding that modifier to our file, that's going to be the retaining edge. The elevation that we set in the object info palette after that modifier has been added to our drawing, that is the elevation that sets the pad. 